Hello! Today we'll be unboxing the black DualSense controller, which let's just get into it. And here's the DualSense controller. The packaging itself has quite a nice touch to it. Kind of feel like plastic, but it's like really premium cardboard. And here is the DualSense, the wireless controller, which works on PS5, and it's made for PS5. And it is $74.99 in the US, which is $5 more than the white one. The box over here has a premium touch to it and has haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, built-in microphone, and the signature comfort, which is much more comfortable than the PS4 remote, in my opinion. And on this side, it tells you what's included in this box, which is the wireless controller itself, which is midnight black, and it also includes an instruction menu. Okay, now let's open it. Oh well, I was struggling a little bit, and y you see it now it's opened. It's pretty premium feel, and there's the plastic cine that where they hand out the shelf which I'm just going to throw it to the side. And let's get to the main topic, the controller itself. It's a bit hard to pull it out over here. It's definitely not like one of those Apple boxes filled, but for $100, it is what it is. And inside here, there's just a white box, and I'm assuming the controller's inside. Wow, even the white box itself has quite a premium feel to it. Now let's open it. And there's the controller. Uh, and that's the instruction manual that's in the box. Let's read the instruction first. There's like a few languages on it, and yeah, let's put it back. Okay, very good, so let's take it out. Wow, I really like the black one. It feels, um, on hand, it feels exactly like the white controller, which I will put in comparison, just one sec. And here it is, um, it's quite good looking. I really like the black and white design, but my whole setup is basically black, including, like, literally everything, so I would definitely use the black controller more in the future. Overall, the black controller feels exactly like the white controller. Um, I don't think there's any difference internally, neither. So I guess if you are choosing the black, you're basically just choosing it for the color. Overall, the black one is basically just the color. But is it really worth the five dollars now? I mean, if you were just going for like a random setup, if you're just like a normal gamer and you don't care how good it looks, you don't care about RGB and those stuff, I would definitely recommend just the white one because it's cheaper in most of the states and also in other countries. For example, I live in NZ, and the black one is usually twenty five dollars more expensive than the white one, which is a hundred dollars. It is a really awesome color. It's much more cool, more like I think it's much cooler than just the white. I didn't I don't really like black and white kind of setup. I just like a plain color. If you like a plain color, the black is definitely your choice. It's beautiful. Also, the white isn't too bad. If you already got the white, I don't really suggest you to swap, but as a second controller, it's definitely a 
good choice. And here are some pictures up close on the controller. It's very good and this is the white controller in comparison. And you can see all the details and it's a very good looking controller, very good quality. And up close you can still see the squares, axes, triangles and the circles on the con back of the controller. And here's a side by side comparison between the black and white. And yeah, the controller is pretty good, even up close, it's amazing, it looks amazing. And here are some gameplay video with the black controller. The Let's the see how the color makes a difference. Targets in sight. Obviously you can play games on your iPad just connected via Bluetooth. And also you can connect it via Bluetooth or wired to your PC to play games. And I'll show you in a bit. And obviously you can play super chill game like Minecraft. The controller works on a lot of devices and um, a lot of applications. There are some applications that are only mobile, so, and they still have controller support, which is feeling impressive. The controller obviously works on PC as well, and here is me playing Dirt Rally 2 on PC. Starts 30, 4 left tightens into 5 right, into 4 left. When you connect it to your PC, you can download an application called DS4 Controller Support, and it will change your PS4 controller as an Xbox controller, and which you can also receive the vibration feedback and all. And this is the end of the video for the DualSense controller. I hope you liked the video. If you don't, please leave a comment on where I could do better. And if you do, please like and sub to my channel. And also the only reason I did this video is because when I looked for videos to get this new controller, I didn't really see much. Either they're like super quick and not detailed enough me to like decide otherwise they just really poorly made videos and I'm not saying that I could do a better job I'm just saying that it's just one more option one more video that you can go through when you are looking to get a new controller and I hope you like it